everything you may have petitioned God for, everything you may have asked him, I want you to know that moment when those questions came, God will in turn do that thing you have asked him seven times. That moment that question came, the reason why they had asked that question, God would do seven times of it for you. And it will make your enemies, it will make your mockers, it will make every single one who have not wished you well, it will make every single one who had mocked you to see with their eyes the things that he would do for you. So dear child of God, don't feel bad when the people who doesn't want you to amount to much ask you where is your God. Don't feel so bad when those people ask you where is your God. Don't go crying. Don't go being in pain. Don't go mourning. Don't go to that point that you bury your head because of that question. Rather, you should say, Lord, they have called on you. Lord, they have made a reference point to my situation and they have indicted you. You will see the way that God will show up. As soon as they have asked this question, it was seven times of the punishment that came to everyone that have brought forth this bitter word. Immediately that question is asked to you, where is your God? What the people do not know is that they are interrogating God and God would answer. And when he does answer, his voice is mighty. When he shows up for you, he shows up in a big way. So do not feel bad anymore. When you have expected some things from God and it seemed not to be coming, and the people have asked you, so where is that God you have been serving? Where is that God that you have been waiting upon? Where is that God that you have said will visit you? Where is that God that you have said would do great and mighty things for your family? Where is that God that you have said will bring your spouse in this year? Where is that God that have said to you that they would open that womb? Where is that God you have been telling us about that is going to visit you? Where is that God? As soon as they say these things, dear child of God, I want you to know that wherever God is, he will show up. And one thing you must always know at the back of your mind that he is ever present with you. So when they say, where is your God that I've said he will do these things in your life, God will show up because he's ever present with you. And then he will make himself very visible. So has your bone been crushed? Have you been at that point that you have become so weak that you have cried yourself to sleep at all times? because of the pains you are having, because of the issues in your life, and because of the people who had mocked. The word of God in Psalms 42 verse 10 says, Like the crushing of my bones, my enemies taunt me, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? And the moment they kept saying these things, though it was feeling bad, though it was feeling hot, it was feeling dejected, he knew at that point that they said these things, his soul was overflowing with grief. He knew at the point when they were saying these things, he was really crushed. He knew at the point they were saying these things, he became very down. He knew at the point they were saying these words against him, he knew his heart became heavy. He knew at the point they were saying, where is your God? Everything about him was going down everything about his joy seemed to be fading away at the point he kept on saying all of these words in psalm 42 everything about his life began to dwindle but then in the very next chapter in psalms 43 he will start by saying be my judge O god supporting my cause against a nation 
He says, be my judge. And God, who was his judge, showed up and judged everything that needed to be judged. The God who was his judge showed up and gave him strength and took away every of those sorrows and said to him very clear because of the attacks of his haters he was going to send light to him because of the attacks of the haters he was going to send light to him he was going to send a word that would guide him he was going to bring him to his holy hill and so everything turned around his joy was restored the bible then said i will be glad and give praise to you on an instrument of music O god my god psalms 43 verse 4 from that moment on he had a reason to sing he had a reason to rejoice he had a reason to praise he had a reason to celebrate because god have turned away his reproach because God have turned away that grief, that overflowing grief that he had. Because God have turned away that bitterness. So that moment when they have asked you, where is your God? And you got in there crying. You got in there wailing and lamenting. You went into your closet crying to God, feeling bad. I want you to know that God will respond. And as he responded to David, and everything turned around. He had joy and he would have a reason to sing. He had joy that he began to use his instrument of music because God did something for him. It is in the same way that God would do for you, dear child of God. So don't feel so bad when you are asked, where is your God? I want you to know that from that moment that question is asked, God will show up. Because it was a question that was directed to God. And when it shows up, oh my God, it will do things that would amaze you. It will do something that will cause your heart to rejoice. So don't feel bad anymore when you are asked, where is your God? Just know that that moment on, just know that from that time, God will make himself visible to you. God will show himself strong and mighty in your life and you would have a reason to rejoice you would have a reason to dance because he's the great and awesome god it is well with you and may the lord show up for you always may he show up for your family may he show up for everything that concerns you and give you a reason to dance and give you a reason to celebrate may he take tears away from your eyes. May it take away those heaviness and grief away from you. May it take those sorrows away from you and restore that joy and bring praises to your lips and bring instruments of joy to you and cause your heart to rejoice and do something that will cause you to be glad in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.